Okay, this is a common problem I keep seeing throughout my travels on the internet. I keep seeing this in debates and in controversies and in dramas all the time. People infantilizing uh, young women especially and even older women and sometimes men and boys as well. When they say something really stupid or they are a very horrible person all because of the things that they say and the side that they're on. The perfect example of this is Milo Stewart, a now 18 year old YouTuber, well known, bigoted SJW YouTuber who has said many things that all white people are racist and all cis people are transphobic. Now, some people did not like the fact that she was being criticized and used her age as some kind of weapon, not only to shield her from criticism, but also to use against other people. So look at you attacking this 17 year old. How dare you attack this young person? Don't you know that's wrong? That's bullying? Well, why is it bullying? How is it bullying to criticize someone? In my opinion, at a certain point in a person's life, for most people, when you are the age between 15 to 17, you are being prepped for not only in my country at least, A-levels, or in America, your senior year of high school, which later on preps you for university, you therefore should be at least cognitively de developed enough to essentially understand the concepts you're talking about. She knew what she was talking about when it came to gender, she knew what she was talking about when it came to prejudice and stuff, she was wrong, but she knew what she was on about, she knew she could at least try and rationalise this in her rather crazy ideological way but for some reason because she was 17 apparently she wasn't fair game for criticism but then magically when she turns 18 all of a sudden yeah fair game she can totally cognitively develop her ideas and understand them well where is the cutoff point people and not only that it's used to form whole ideologies feminism is based on this infantilization that women can't do this women can't do that without men's help. We need your help, men, to solve the issues of the world that you caused. We're too pretty and delicate to do all that on our own, even though there's perfect examples of women doing things on their own, without anybody's help, and becoming successful and famous, and just generally doing well. Sometimes it's used to excuse mistakes, and look, I know, as a 23 year old, I make a lot of youthful, naive mistakes, and I have done in the past, and I probably will do forever and ever. People make mistakes. But that doesn't mean that your age is an excuse to essentially absolve yourself of everything that you've ever done. No, no. If you are old enough, rational enough and intelligent enough to understand what you're doing, that's on you, not on your age. It's not an argument when it comes to essentially trying to justify what you've done or to explain what you've done. And conversely, when older people are using pe people's ages in arguments, saying, oh, you're just young, you don't understand at the moment, but you will do at a certain point in your life whenever. Yeah, that's not an argument either, older people. Just because this young person is espousing an idea doesn't mean that somewhere down the line they're not going to believe in that. Maybe they do, maybe they won't. Who knows? I think the fact that some people bring that up in the debate when they're not able to actually count on somebody's point suggests that maybe they have the development issue not the person that they're talking about, oh, you'll grow up soon. And if you're one of those people who like to infantilize themselves and allow other people to infantilize you, trying to essentially get away with things that you've said and done and to use it as an argument, stop, stop it. it. Get, get some help. help. Anyway, that's the end of the video. This has been Charming Man 93 Like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, donate to Patreon if you want to see me do this more, and until next time, I'll see you all later. <laughs> Thank you.